Today we're showing how you can create modelled 3D reinforcement bar in Revit with just two clicks. So I'll just click the player, this script, and there's your modelled 3D reinforcement bars, all done. It's getting this information from a schedule, so it's just a text field. 6, 25 bars bottom, 4, 20s top, and legs or stirrups at 300 centers. And you can see that's just a text, piece of text that the script interprets to create the modeled bar. The script works with types, so for example if I select this one column here, it's going to do all the columns at once because they're the same type. There we go, I've just reinforced all the columns. I can do it for walls as well, so this wall for example, even though I've got this wall that's a header beam. and the other walls are full height, it will do them all at once. So I'll just add the script there. And there we go, we've got our 3D modeled reinforcement for all the walls done, including this mini wall because it's the same type, it'll do all the walls it can find in that project of that type. I can do slabs as well. There we go. They're all correctly modeled reinforcement bars in Revit. So if I look at my rebar schedule, I can see the shape code. <clears throat> so zero is straight, 51 is a leg or a stirrup tie, and then the bar diameter and how many of these bars I've already got in the project so far. So you generate quite a few pretty quickly. And again, it's just getting this information from the model field in the type. So it's just a piece of text and the script can understand that piece of description. So it knows that you're talking about a 16 millimeter diameter bar. It knows that they're at the top and the top bars need to be at 200 centers. It can interpret that text. Finally, I'll just finish this project off with the last two beam types. There's a couple of warnings about bars being out of their host. You can see the orange one there. That's because the way Revit stops a beam short of the column, but it is trying to put a leg in within that column. So you might want it in there, but you can easily just delete them individually. It's easy to fix. And I'll just add the last one. Whoops, I pressed cancel there. There we go. So I've reinforced all that in 3D in a couple of minutes. And if you want to get a bit more complicated, you can add loose bars. So for example, if I wanted this beam to have some hook bars into this wall here, you can open the grasshopper window. And I've already got loaded the script. That's the main script that does all the bars. 
and it's got an input here called loose bar and that's controlled by this component it has a few inputs but it's pretty simple really I'll show you how it works so firstly you've got to grab an element so that beam for example and then if I hook it up to creating bars you can see a preview of what it wants to build and I can make them straight bars, L bars, hook bars, double L or Z bars and you can create legs or stirrups and loops etc if you want. But say I just want L bars, now they're clashing there and I want to move them down anyway. So all the inputs are just controlled by these values here. So I'm going to make the second row 600mm down, 620 mil. It's sticking into the wall enough for me. Or you can adjust that with Z position. The A and B's are the length of the arms of the bar. And if I just click apply there, you can see it's created those bars. So if I turn the preview off, you can see the bars are there <clears throat> and they have the correct bending radius. And if you're happy working with this grasshopper window like this, you can also use this component to add your normal bars as before. So all I need to do is select the beam type that I want. If I preview that you can see there are the bars it wants to put in. And then I just click apply. And there they are. Now I can unpreview that to just have the bars by themselves. So that's another way of working with this script. Thanks for watching this structured parametrics video. Leave a like or subscribe if you found this useful, and we'll see you in the next one.